Rescue excavations led by the Gibraltar Museum revealed a major burial ground underneath the old colonial hospital, now St. Bernard's First and Middle Schools. It contained over 200 skeletons, dating back to approximately 1748, when the site was used as barracks. Studies to find out more about the individuals so far reveal most of the documented remains are male, most of whom died in their prime between the ages of 15 and 35. It suggests that uh, these deaths occurred due to an unusual event. Um, it could be uh, a violent event, but it could also be a disease, an epidemic, and that's the theory that we think is, is most likely at the moment. Um, looking at the remains that we have in conjunction with what we know from the historical records um, of the sieges and, and the various um, epidemics that followed in the 18th century. And what do we know of the site at the time of, of, of these deaths? So we know that the site was um, being used by the British Army as a hospital, um, so we have documentary evidence for that, and it had been previously used as a hospital um, for quite a, quite a time, but the military had taken it over um, from around 1704. So 34 individuals have been documented so far, but what remaining works will be carried out now? We've got an awful lot to do. Um, we've still got uh, a large proportion of the individuals that we need to clean. The, the bones are all stored in boxes, but they haven't been washed, so they're still covered in mud. Um, so that's a big aspect of the project, and, and we've been lucky in having some local volunteers helping us out over the summer with that, but it's likely that we'll continue next summer um, to get more cleaned, and then basically we're going to go on recording. We need to get as much evidence as we can. So getting this basic information about whether they were males or females, how old they were when they died, and insights into their health is really important uh, basic first step. We've also been taking some bone samples and some teeth samples that we're going to have analysed chemically because one of the questions that we have is where do these individuals come from? And your bones and your teeth incorporate some of the chemicals that are local to where you grow up or where you're living at the time. So by analysing that we can get some insight into whether um, they were really local individuals or whether they had been brought in from say the UK by the British Army and that'll help fill in another aspect of, of the puzzle as to who these individuals were and why they ended up being buried where they are. At a press call at the museum, Ministers Gilbert Lugudi and Stephen Linares both stressed the importance of preserving our history and heritage. Funding for the research is being provided by the Ministry for Heritage and the University of Cambridge Macdonald Institute for Archaeological Research.